Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here in Leipzig, Germany at ISC 14. I'm here with Galad Shainer from Mellanox. Galad, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you very much, Rich. <laughs> well, good, good. I, you know, I just got to start at the beginning. What's new with Mellanox at ISC 14? Uh, there are going to be multiple announcements from the Mellanox side. Uh, first, I'm thinking the most important is that uh, we're going to announce the first 100 gigabit per second switch. Uh, so from Mellanox perspective, you know, every two, three years, we bring in new generation, new speed to the market. Started in 2002 with 10 gigabit per second, moved to 20, 40, 56, and now we bring in 100 gigabit per second. Uh, we started in March when we did the demonstrations for fiber cables, both Vixel and Silicon Photonics. So we showed that we brought, the, or we brought already the, the uh, cabling infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, on Monday, we're going to announce the switch. So it's the world first 100 gigabit per second switch. It's the world first 100 gigabit per second InfiniBand switch. Uh, 36 ports, 100 gigabit per second each. Uh, we cut the latency by almost half to 130 nanoseconds. Uh, and we brought uh, more features within inside the switch router to be able to build larger scale systems, to be able to do uh, security isolations, to connect between different topologies, um, as well as other features within a switch. So, we are very excited. It's a new generation. Um, it's a new solution. It's a new speed. Uh, so that's what we're going to announce. Um, and then we'll enable people to start building EDR, 100 gigabit per second network, uh, while still connected to FDR on the server side, on the nodes. Um, there are multiple advantages of that. It's a more cost-effective solution. It's mm -hmm. reducing the latencies or higher performance, less power consumptions, less real estate. So a great benefit for people to move from um, FDR on the network to EDR. And then later down the road, we're also going to announce the um, 100 gigabit per second adapter. At some point, we are working on the technology and that will com complete the end-to-end. -end. So that will be the major announcement. Uh, we're also going to announce a software package, which is called HPCX. Uh, which provides everything, if it's an MPI, a PGAS, SHMEM, or UPC, in one package, everything is based on open source, no proprietary, we don't believe in proprietary within the open source, it enables people to innovate, uh, but we wanted to package everything, including the software that exposed the Melnox accelerations in the hardware, so people can build uh, systems and, and take advantage of what they have on the hardware side to run applications much faster, higher performance, more efficiency, more scalability. Okay. So that software suite is already uh, on the Melnox website, so people can go and, go and download it okay. um, and start using that with the current systems and also uh, future systems. Um, and our thing that we're going to showcase, I think that for the first time, one of the Melnox missions is to support any compute infrastructure out there. All right, so we support x86, majority of the systems are x86 today. Mm -hmm. We are part of IBM Open Power. Uh, so, you know, we endorse any development on, on CPU platforms and we're going to do uh, demonstrations of Melnox, InfiniBand and Open Power based on Power 8, uh, Power 8 systems on the show floor. Um, as well, we do the first demonstrations with the first ARM 64-bit from Applied Micro. Mm -hmm. Uh, and on that platform, we were able to achieve 1.5 microsecond latency with 40 gigabit per second bandwidth. So really impressive performance for ARM platforms. So showing x86, Power 8 with open power, and then 64-bit uh, uh, from Applied Micro on ARM, all the ecosystem, and people can choose what uh, works for them. So three major announcements. Biggest one is the 100 gigabit per second switch. Very excited to you know bring that technology to market, and then the software simplify deployments, bringing more capabilities, increasing return investment, and then supporting all the ecosystems. And we're showing x86 power and all. And that all be running like right on the floor in your booth. Right.